Mina, come on, why? Jesus freaking gamer here. Back with more Psalm 97. Still happy fun times here. Just verse 1. Let's go. The Lord reigns. Let the earth rejoice. Let the multitude of isles be glad. So, the Lord's in charge. Let all the earth be happy. And let the multitude of isles be glad. So not just the big pieces of, of land. The small pieces of land, too. Every piece of land. All of the earth. Quite, I would say... Sometimes when the Bible says all, it doesn't actually mean all. It's kind of like um, it's it's like um, I okay, I can't I can't think of the word, but like you know when you say like I'm always on time, you might have been one, late once or twice in your life, but essentially you always arrive on time. Maybe not in the most literal sense, but you know all you know when you say all, it kind of means that. And a lot of times when the Bible says all, it means just kind of you know most of the time. You know, read it. As you would any anything that a human wrote. When they say all, every now and then it doesn't mean quite literally everything. But it's when we've got the earth, that kind of sounds like the whole earth, and then the multitude of isles. Well, okay, if you're on a mass of land, the Lord reigns, be glad and rejoice. Even though the word all here isn't used, I would say this is all. This is everything. Every single thing on the land can be happy. So yeah, just forget the fish. They're 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 in a hot water. I'll, I'll stop. That was that was sad. That was bad even for me. So moving along, we can rejoice and be glad because the Lord reigns. There's a word that if you want to look it up, please do. It's called sovereignty. The sovereignty of God. I'll put that word in the description down below so you can Google the definition if you want to. But the sovereignty of God essentially means that He is in control of everything. Yes, you heard right. Everything. All the good stuff and all the bad stuff. And there, you, there, I, I, there are so many messages that have been preached, I could preach, and I'm sure will be preached by me and by others on how the good and the bad and the in-between is all somehow meshed together and it all makes sense. But for the sake of this short message, I'm going to try to keep it a little bit shorter today, guys. God's in control. Like all the bad stuff that you see happening around you, God's got you. He hasn't abandoned you. He hasn't, you know, lost a grip on the wheel and is trying to get it back somehow. He's in control. He's got this. And when those good circumstances are going on in your life, it's not like, well, that was a lucky roll of the die. Glad things are going well. No. That's a blessing. It's a good thing. God's in control. And he, is, and he has said yes to whatever that thing is in your life, and it's going well. I was like, and of that, I would certainly exclude sinful activities. If you're profiting from sin, eh, God's allowing that for a time. Just like he allows those bad things to make his people sharper and better, and more mature, and more like Jesus. God is in control. So, despite all the circumstances, God's in control, and we can rejoice and be glad, because God hasn't lost control. His hand didn't drop off the steering wheel. He's right there, and he's going to help us every step of the way. So rejoice and be glad. And look up that word sovereignty. You will find a good number of messages on that. In sub four minutes, I'm done. I will let you guys go at this point. Thank you very much for watching this video. I love you and God bless.